I want to show you one trigonometry question, just one trigonometry question before we end the session, which is just going to be a quick question number nine. And then maybe we'll get an opportunity to go through more trigonometry at a later stage. Given that tan alpha is three quarters, where alpha is an element of naught and 90 degrees, they say with the use of a sketch, find sin alpha, find cos squared 90 minus alpha, minus 1, and 1 minus 2 sin alpha. I quickly just want to draw a sketch for you. Remember that they said with the help of a sketch. So your sketch looks like this. It's going to go into quadrant number 1. Why quadrant number one? Because alpha was between naught and 90. So I have my sketch there. The tan of alpha is three quarters. Tan is the opposite over the adjacent side. Opposite over the adjacent side. Three is my opposite. Four is my adjacent. Remember this is alpha. This is 90. Pythagoras, we'll make that five. Everybody knows three, four, and five goes together. Four is adjacent, it's closest to alpha. The three is the opposite, it is the further side away from alpha. There you have your sketch. And if you have your sketch, you are ready to go answer your questions. 9.1 was to find the sin of alpha. Very easy. Sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Die oorstaande sy oor die skyn sy. So dit is gelijk aan 3 op 5. Dit was een makkelijke vraag. As jou skets hier reg is, dan kan jy hierdie vraag baie goed antwoord. Die tweede vraag daar, wat is die kos kwadraat van 90 minus alfa minus 1? 90 minus alfa minus 1, onthou die kos van 90 minus alfa, it becomes sine squared alpha. Remember, this is called a co-ratio. That is a co-functie. So, draai jy sien 90 minus alpha, dan gaan kos na sin toe. Of sin gaan na kos toe. Onthou dit, baie van jylle vergeet dit, jylle kry dit aan die recht nie, onthou 90 minus alpha as a co-functie, kos gaan na sin toe. En dan, sien is, ons het sin daar, sin is 3 op 5, so dit is 3 op 5, ek hoef om moet omkwadreer, minus 1, en jylle kan dit uitwerk op jylle calculators. Dit is nie so'n moeilike vraag om uit te werk nie. En dan ons laaste vraagie vir vandag, is hoe gaan ek kry 1 minus sin 2 alfa? Ons moet die skets gebruik, ons skets is recht getrek, ons laaste vraagie gaan ons uitwerk 1 minus die sin van 2 alfa. Wat is dit? Leerlinge, ek dink jylle weet onmiddellik dat dit is a double hoek. This is a double angle. We battle with it. It was a previous higher grade section, but we have to know this now. So you go to your formula sheet and on the formula sheet it says that sin 2 alpha is 2 sin alpha cos alpha. You see this on your formula sheet. The sin of 2 alpha is 2 sin alpha cos alpha. And all you have to do now is to substitute the value of sin and to substitute the value of cos. So there you have your sketch. The sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Sin is the oorstaande sy op die skyn sy. So dit word 3 op 5. En cos is the aanliggende sy op die skyn sy. It is my adjacent side over my hypotenuse. Remember, what did I say? The adjacent is closest to the angle. That's 4 over 5. And you can do that on your calculator. I'm not going to spend time working that out on the calculator. And that was question number 9.3. You work that out and you will find an answer there. I can't I think if you work it out on your calculator, your answer will come to 1 over 25. You could work that out while I looked for the answer. You could just say 1 minus and use your calculator and it's 1 over 25. And there was question number 9. And yet the students 
battled with this question. What did they do wrong in this question? The sketch was drawn in the correct, in the wrong quadrant. Remember, it's all stations to Cape Town. Where are my ratios positive? Where are my ratios negative? You need to study that. It's a fundamental in trigonometry. Then you need to know sin is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. You need to memorize these things. And then the last thing you need to know also is your double angles. Remember your double angles are on your formula sheet. You can go to your formula sheet and you read it off from your formula sheet and you fill it in and then you substitute the values like I did. Learners, I hope that the session that I had with you helped. I hope that you understood what I wanted to bring across to you. I want to encourage you to sit with your books. I do not believe that people are clever. I believe in hardworking people. I believe in students who sit with their books. Have a goal. Have a dream. What's your dream? Nobody can go through life without dreams. So have a dream. Maybe your dream is to pass this maths paper with flying colors. I want to tell you that you can. Nothing comes easy. You have to sit with your books. You have to study. You have to practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. I want to wish you the best of luck. I want to tell you that you can do it. And once again, I hope that the session helped you. Thank you very much, students, for listening to me.